What's up, YouTube family? Lou here with another God Like Collectibles video. Um, today, I was listing some stuff on my eBay store, and I was going through a bunch of, like, um, I found a, in my boxes, I found, like, a, a set of 89 Donruss that I had picked up in a, in a lot that I had bought off of somebody at a flea market. And um, I ended up like cherry picking through it, take, took out all my uh, Hall of Famers and rookies and stuff like that, and ended up listing the rest of the set on uh, on eBay. And um, uh, and then I found the '92 Donruss set that I already had here. Um, it's not a complete set, but I also went through it and took out a couple Hall of Famers out and cards that I would want for my personal collection. And then listed the rest on eBay, you know. And um, I started thinking to myself, I'm like, man, you know, because you always hear other YouTubers always talking about the different eras. And um, they're talking about what their favorite era of um, cards to collect is, you know. And a lot of people, they like the vintage stuff, um, which I also like vintage. Um, but... Something that I can truly relate to is that so-called junk junk wax era, right? Because that was the era I grew up in. You know, from the era of 86 to 93, which is considered the junk the junk wax era, those were the years that I was collecting. I started collecting in around 86, 87. I was about eight, nine years old when I started getting into baseball cards. And um you know, I remember buying packs all the time when I was a kid, when I would get like a dollar or something from my dad. I'd go to the store, get like two packs of, of, of cards. And I remember, you know, collecting 87, 88, 89, and into the 90s, in the early 90s, where I used to collect and trade with my buddies and this and the other. And I think because of that, I have that nostalgia. And for that reason... The junk wax era, believe it or not, is probably my favorite um, era of co of collecting in the sense. Um, because not only is it because that was the era I grew up in, but it was also the players that I got to see play. You know, and there's something that connects you to the cards when you can remember... Oh man, I remember, you know, going to Yankee Stadium and seeing Don Mattingly play or seeing, you know, Willie Randolph or seeing, you know, Dave Winfield, Ricky Henderson, and all these guys when when I was growing up as a kid as a Yankee fan that I got to see play. And um, you know, it was something special about it. And I know a lot of guys like the the old school, oh, I want to collect Mickey Mantles and Hank Aarons and Willie Mays. And even though I know they were great players, I never got to personally see them play. All you do, did was hear stories, right? So even though vintage is cool to collect, sometimes I find myself um, going through my junk wax error cards. And I'm like, man, I remember this game or I remember this all-star game. You know, like I was looking through some cards and I saw Randy Johnson. And I'm thinking about when Randy Johnson you know, was like this scary dude when he was with Seattle, the big unit. And even when he was in the All-Star game against John Cruck, and John Cruck was so scared that he was like backing out of the plate as he was swinging. And I think about those memories when I was younger, when I saw that live, you know what I mean, um, on TV. So I wanted to just go through some Junk Wax era cards and, and show some um, cards from my era when I was growing up as a kid, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to start off with some tops. You know, uh, they say that the Junk Wax era is from 86 to about 93. So I'm just going to show some cards from those eras. Um, and I'm going to show different players. Some players that don't get a lot of love and some players that do. But I'm going to show a little bit of everybody from that era. Um, 1986. This is a Tony Gwynn. And forgive me if this video becomes a little long. I just want to show the cards. And it, it was just fun going through them. Here's 87. Will Clark. Around this is the year that I started really collecting. Where I was buying a lot of packs. 
You know what I mean? So this this is like one of my favorite top series because I started collecting around that time. Here's an 88 Ripken, but this one's an Opeachy. But, you know, it's the same layout as the uh, the regular tops. Cal Ripken there, who was one of the best shortstops in that era. Um, 89, I'm going to show two, two of them. I'm going to show you this Deion Sanders rookie. Here's the 89 tops. And um, here's a Dave Winfield from 1989. Pretty cool. Then uh, 1990, Larry Walker. And, um, oh, I'm missing a 91. Okay. He's a 92, Manny Ramirez rookie. I'm missing the 91, but I'll show you a 91 in a little while. And here's a 93. Here's a Juan Gonzalez. But as I was going through these cards, I was like, man, you know, I remember collecting all of these. Here's a top stadium. I think this is a 91. Here's a John Smoltz. These were awesome when they came out. I think I was about 13 years old when these came out. It was cool because they had their rookie card in the back, which was kind of nice. Here's a Barry Bonds. I think this is a, either a 92 or 93 stadium club. This one's nice. Him sliding. And then um, <clears throat> here's a, a rookie card. Uh, this is a sports flick. And this is from nine from nineteen eighty six, I believe. Yeah, eighty six. Here's a, a sports flick, Barry Larkin. Now, what's cool about this? You know, here's the the eighty six. It says eighty six rookies. Now, is this considered his official rookie card then? Because this came out in nineteen eighty six. And in 87 is where they're talking about those are his rookie cards. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Vic, Victor, the, the rookie specialist, can let me know what he thinks about this one. <laughs> um, here's some, some Leaf cards. Here's a, a Roberto Alamore 1988 Leaf. And... Um, Which is weird because the leaf is the same as the Donruss. But anyway, here's a, a, 80, a 1990 leaf, Craig Biggio. This one was a cool design. And here's my man Pudge, 92 leaf. Love that picture there. A little action shot. It's a nice one. Then uh, we got... The Fleers, um, let me put this one down here. Here's an 86 Fleer of the other Pudge, <laughs> the original, Carlton Fisk. This one's a cool one, too. Dennis Eckersley, he's a 1987 Fleer. See, I'm trying to show some players that really don't get shown much. You know, Fisk. Uh, Eckersley, 1988 Fleer, Don Manningly. Love that card. Donnie Baseball. 89 Fleer. Here's a Griffey rookie. Another nice one. Very cool. Uh, 1990 Fleer. Here's a uh, Juan Gonzalez. Rookie card. 91, probably the worst. I know this is Orlando from a collector's dream. He hates this one. The, the These yellow fleers. He hates these cards. <laughs> the banana yellow. Roberto Alomar. The fleer 92. These were cool. And I like this set here. These are the... Those... Cartoon looking ones. These are nice. 
Here's the big hurt. Frank Thomas like that card. The Griffey one is really cool too. I have that as well. But like I said, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Now, this is also a Fleer 92. This was a Rookie Sensations. There was like 20 of these cards. Here's a Bagwell rookie card. This one is nice. Very cool. There was 20 in the set, as you can see on the back. But these are also cool. Um, then I got a, a Fleer Ultra. This is a 1991. Here's a Mo Vaughn. And 92 Fleer Ultra. Um, rookie card of Mike Mussina. It's a nice looking card. The back of this. These were cool. Like when these started coming out, they had a little more shine to the to the card and all that. That was pretty cool. Um, all right, so we got the Fleer out the way. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do some upper deck. Here's a 89 upper deck of Robbie Alomar. And um and the back is kind of cool too. Look at that uh him turning two right there. It's nice. Then we got a 1990 upper deck. I got a Ryan Sandberg, another Hall of Fame second baseman. Another awesome sec, uh, second baseman of that era. Here's a 91 um, Frank Thomas. Another awesome looking card. Him in the dugout. 92. I got a Pedro Martinez rookie card. Star rookie. And then uh, I decided to show for 93. I do have a Derek Jeter rookie card, but I decided to show a Jim Abbott card. I was thinking about a video that Lou Rock had made, Lou Rock TV, and he had mentioned about Jim Abbott and talking about being inspired and all that, about a player that kind of was like, amazing with his feet about being handicapped and still being in the big leagues. Then uh, what we got here, we got Donruss. So here's a 86 Donruss. Here's a Ruben Sierra rookies. Now this is the rookies set. Uh, the other one was like a blue border. I do have a Don Manning like that. I should have pulled that out, but you get the idea. It's the same design. It's just instead of being green, it's blue. And then uh, 87, I decided to show two cards. I got Mark McGuire, rated rookie. And Greg Maddox, rookie. Nice cards. Nice border. Here's the 88 Donruss that looks exactly like the, the 88 Leaf. So we got Don Manningly there. Then 89, we got rated rookie Randy Johnson. I also have the Griffey, but I figured I sold Johnson since I had um, the other one, the, the Fleer I showed Griff. Here's a 90, uh, 1990 Donruss. Here's a uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. Rated rookie. This one's autographed. But um, it's a nice card. Kind of reminds me of the Fle <laughs> the Fleer uh, 9091. Here's a 91 uh, Donruss. There was two colors that I, I don't remember... If it was like a Series 1, Series 2, something like that. So here's Dave Justice with the green border. And then we have Sammy Sosa with the blue border. Then um, we got 92. Here's a rated rookie of uh, Kenny Lofton. 
coming up with the Houston Astros. The back is kind of cool. I remember the 92s. They were actually really cool, man. I, I got a bunch of them here. But um, Edgar Martinez. And uh, here goes my man, Rod Pudge Rodriguez. He looked good in this one. That's a nice one. Getting ready to go out there. Is Griffey. These were actually pretty cool. I, I, I enjoyed collecting these when I was younger. Robbie Alomar. Bernie Williams. That's not a great shot of Bernie. <laughs> My man got the... Look like he got the Kumo D glasses on. I'm dating myself, I know. <laughs> and here's the uh, the rookies set of that Donruss. Here's Pedro. Cool one here. And then 93 Donruss. Here's uh, Tim Wakefield. Rated rookie. It's a nice card. You know, he passed away this past year. In 2023, unfortunately. He died young, which was a shame. Um, what else we got here? Let's see what else I got up in here. I got the, the classic best from 1992. Here's a Mike Piazza. Back on that one. And then uh score. I got a couple scores here. I don't have that many, but I got this 1988 score. You got Reggie Jackson in a Baltimore Orioles uniform, which is kind of cool. And um uh, uh another Randy Johnson, an 89 score, his rookie year. It's a shame that these Hall of Fame players, like a lot of their rookie cards and playing days cards came out during this era where everything was so mass produced. So it's like their rookie cards are not worth anything, but yet they were like some of the greatest players ever. Here's, here's a Juan Gonzalez rookie. I also have this in a PSA for my set registry of Gonzalez rookie cards. And here's the uh, Dream Team card from 92. Is this 92 or 91? 91, I'm sorry. Here's a Wade Boggs. These were really cool. I just saw that Orlando showed off uh, his Griffey. I also have the Griffey as well. That's why I figured I'd switch it up, show some love to Wade Boggs. And um, here's some... Some other 89 cards that I pulled out to the side from that uh, the 89 Donruss set that I took out. Here's a Bo Jackson. It's cool to just go through some of these and just look at them. This one is cool. This is a 40-40 club of uh, Conseco when he won the MVP. And Oral Hershiser with the scoreless innings, 59 and counting. It's another special card. Pretty dope. These are cool, man. Then the, the MVP cards of that, that year, they look like this. Decided to show Kirby. Show a little Kirby love. And then the Diamond Kings were kind of cool too. Here's a Tony Gwynn, Diamond Kings. And a... Uh, Don Manningly Diamond Kings, which I also have graded. You can probably see it right behind me, right around there. That was a gift from my brother. He bought me a Gem Mint 10 of this card for Father's Day last year. So that was pretty cool of him. And then uh, he's a rated rookie, Gary Sheffield, who I think, in my opinion, should be in the hall. He got screwed. You know, it's a, it's a shame. I think he fell off the ballot this year. And then we got another Nana Donnie baseball. And then the strikeout king right here, Nolan Ryan. So these are my uh, 
junk wax era cards. <laughs> some of them, I have a bunch more, but um, I just wanted to show some from different era, like a different uh, years, I, I would say. And um, why these are special, even though uh, I like how Mangini says, oh, I don't like the term junk wax. And I agree with him because, you know, as collectors, they're cards that we enjoy collecting, right? And I get it that they don't have the monetary value that a lot of the vintage cards or maybe even cards that came out after that era, um, that they're holding more value. But, you know, like I said, there was a lot of Hall of Famers during that era and a lot of players that I grew up watching. And that's why it's a special era. Unfortunately, because of the overproducing and, um, you know, of, of that nature that it's not worth anything, um, you know, it, it sucks. But at the same time, I enjoyed it as a kid. I had fun collecting them, opening up packs and getting your favorite players and, you know, um, trading them with your with your friends and, and getting the card that you want, you know, and that's what it was about growing up, you know? So the fact that I'm able to have them and collect them, yeah, it sucks that they're not worth much, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not looking to sell them. I'm looking to collect them and I'd rather be able to have them. And in a way it kind of benefits me that they're so cheap because whenever I want to get one of their rookie cards, I can get it. And it's not, um, you know, life changing money that I got to worry about, you know, trying to figure out how I'm going to afford it. But, um, instead I'm able to get it and be like, man, I remember, you know, his rookie year. I remember when this person played on this particular team, on this particular game, this all-star game, you know, Griffey with turning the hat around and the home run derby and all these different moments that I remember, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, yeah, I love the vintage, uh, stuff because I've heard stories from my dad about a lot of uh, players from back in the day. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for those players, but there's something about being able to collect players that you knew because you saw them play, you know? And uh, that's why this is one of my favorite errors to collect because it's nostalgic for me. So take care, God bless, be safe, peace.